Hey guys, it's Rob Zipper with Paperless Humans. Welcome to another episode of this free Apple Notes course where we'll be focusing on Quick Notes. Due to the nature of our videos, we are unable to show you the fastest way to get started in Apple Notes from a logged screen. Please go to our website to read about that if you're interested in that. You can create Quick Notes while using any app on your iPad. By default, Swipe diagonally on the bottom right corner of the screen to open a quick note. You can either type or handwrite in your quick notes using all the tools that you normally get when creating notes in Apple Notes. For another demonstration, we're going to create a new quick note from another app. In this case, I'm using Noteform. Using the pinching gesture, you can resize the quick note window. You can also move it to any of the four corners of the screen. Tap done to save your quick notes. Sometimes you don't want to create a quick note, but rather continue working on an old one. Simply scroll left or right to look for the notes you want to work on. The three dots icon gives you the option to add screenshot, which automatically takes a screenshot of your screen and adds it to your quick note. You can also share the quick note. Or delete it. The new note icon creates a new notebook. And the four square icon takes you to your Quick Notes folder in Apple Notes. Quick Notes make it easier to drag and drop items into your notes. They are best used for rough notes though, unless you're typing them. Because the notes you handwrite in a quick note look massive and exaggerated when you open them as a normal notebook in Apple Notes. For that reason, we recommend typing the notes if you want to use them later on. You can minimize your quick notes if you're not using them and bring them back up just as easily. When browsing in Safari, you can create a new quick note by selecting something on a web page. Go to the forward arrow if you can't see that option on the pop-up menu. Apple Notes creates a quick note with a link to the website as well as the information you took from it. When you return to the home page, its quick note appears on the bottom right corner so you can pick up where you left off. You can also bring it up using the normal gesture and then scroll through to find the quick note you're looking for. Quick notes make it easy to get notes from web pages. 
All you have to do is long press to pick up the information you want. And then drag it to the quick note. Sometimes you don't want to create a new quick note, but rather continue your notes on the last quick note you were working on. To change that, go to the iPad settings and then notes. Under the quick note section, turn on resume last quick note. Now, each time you bring up the quick note, Apple Notes will open the one you last worked on. You can also change the quick note gesture by going to corner gestures and choosing to create a quick note by swiping the left corner instead. With this option, you can swipe either corner to bring up the quick note. We don't recommend this because it is better to use the left corner for taking screenshots. If you want to bring up the quick note using your finger, you can turn on allow finger to swipe from corner. We also don't recommend using this because it disables the multitasking gesture for bringing up the app switcher. And that is all you need to know about Quick Notes for Apple Notes. We hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next episode.